Bobby Kennedy experiment? <laughs> Now, just remember, at the beginning of a bit, look for the person with the X on them. They're the ones we're fooling. Like these two young ladies, who think they're about to appear as litigants on a new courtroom TV show. The litigants are real. Their case is real. The only thing that's bogus is the judge. They've just entered the courtroom of Judge Jamie. Stacy Sightsinger is suing her ex-friend Tracy Kime for $1,500. She claims Kime wrecked her car while the two were out for dinner New Year's Eve. Kime says that Sightsinger was drunk and that she was doing her a favor by not allowing her to drive. This is the case of the designated driver. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge James W. Leland is presiding. Be seated. Oh, I'm sorry, how are you guys? <laughs> Very pretty young ladies, are you guys in a fight? Yes. Oh, Mrs. Seitzinger, that's you? Yes. Why are you fighting Mrs. Keim? Is that your last name, Keim? Yes. Oh, is that French? German. German, Mrs. <laughs> French? German. Ay, 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 two Germans. <laughs> Strudel, very exciting. <laughs> okay, she wrecked your car? Yes. You didn't drive drunk, did you, Trace? No, I didn't. Don't want to do that. Let's start this case. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Mrs. Okay. Seitzinger. <clears throat> On New Year's Eve, we uh, went out together, and um, Ooh, Trace... where'd you guys go? Uh, to a restaurant in Beverly Hills. Did Thought you have we spaghetti? Would... Steak. Steak? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Carnivores. I love it. Steak for the ladies. Go ahead. Uh, Tracy had agreed to be the designated driver that night. Meaning and... she was going to drive your car. Right. Fantastic. Go ahead. Because she was a designated driver, I'd been drinking, and, um... What were you drinking? Martinis? Apples? Uh, um, apple martini. Apple yes. martini. Mm -hmm. How do I... I have a way with women. My <laughs> wife says I have bedroom eyes. All right, so... Go ahead. We were parked across the street in a, in a big lot. So, uh, oh. Tracy and I got in the car. Who got in first? <laughs> well, I had the keys, so What's I, funny? Well, the passenger side, if you unlock it, it opens up all the locks. Oh, so you guys got in together. <laughs> When Tracy was backing out, there's um, cement blockades throughout the parking area, and she backed into one, and so it scraped up the back bumper. And Oh, that's horrible. And, uh, Did you get it fixed up there? Um, it's getting fixed, yes. Mrs. Kimes, you backed up into that bumper. By accident. You? By accident. You're a sweetie. Go ahead. <laughs> so I backed up, and it caught underneath, and it damaged her car. All right. Why don't both of you women approach the bench, please? <laughs> okay, that's fine. You guys can turn around. Sorry? You can... That's fine. Go back. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I need a very cold shower. Okay, go ahead. What do I'd, you want her to pay? Well, I'd like her to pay the damages because when it happened, she said, oh, my God, I'll totally take care of this for you. It's a lot of money, and I didn't turn it into insurance. And because she said, I'll take care of it for you. That's all I want. <laughs> so, tell me what happened then. I was kind of upset that... You were so furious. You were a hellcat, weren't you? <laughs> hot-blooded German coming through. <laughs> Two hot-blooded Germans in court. Mrs. Kayyem, hold on one second. You're German all the way. Oh, I'm Irish. Very exciting. Irish and Italian and German. Go ahead. So you're mad at Mrs. Kayyem. I just want her to pay for the damages that she said she was going to pay for. Who's wearing vanilla? <laughs> Mrs. Seitzinger? Are you wearing vanilla? No. I smell... Jerry Bailiff, are you wearing vanilla? No, you are Well, aren't. someone smells like a creamsicle in here. <laughs> very exciting. I'm very confused. It's hard for me to figure this out. So, what I need you guys to do... Can you each turn to each other, please? State your case to each other passionately for 30 seconds, and I will decide. Three, two, one, go. 
Look, Tracy, I just want you to pay for what you said you were going to pay for. Go at her, Mrs. Seitzinger. I just want you to pay for what you said you were going to pay for. Push it, Mrs. Seitzinger. Mrs. Kayyem, don't let her walk on you like that. It's better than a DUI. And you oh, you're beautiful when you're angry, both of you. Go ahead, Mrs. Kayyem. You're angry again. You're angry at her. Say it, Mrs. Kayyem. You're Kayim. really bad drugs. I want to make sure you were fine that night. Oh, my God. Mrs. Seitzinger, it was New Year's Eve. She ruined it for you. You said you wouldn't do it. You said you'd be the designated driver. And you wrecked my car. Time. Time. Turn back around. Very nice ladies. Very excited. <laughs> Very passionate. Say you're sorry to each other. For me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Very exciting. My ruling is Viagra works. Seriously. <laughs> Judgment in favor of the plaintiff, one dollar. I need a cup of coffee and a very cold shower. <laughs> one dollar? So let's talk to the defendant first. You lost the case. Do you think it was that 30-second scream-off? Yeah, probably, but... Looking back, at least I know now not to drive friends home sober and no. let them drive drunk home. Okay, thanks. You satisfied with the verdict? Well, I won, so yes, I guess I'm satisfied, but the dollars couldn't. Mrs. Seitzinger, Mrs. Kayyem, I am very sorry. I have a new part to my judgment. I would like to let you both know that you have been exed. You are on my new hidden camera show called The Jamie Kennedy Experiment, and I am not a real judge. And I'm just kidding. Kathy. My partner Kyle is here and we do a, a tandem massage so you get double pleasure. 